I really love about Christmas is to travel and enjoy the scenery of Christmas, you know. But for those of you who will be spending your Christmas in Nigeria, like me, this video is for you. I'm going to be showing you beautiful places in Nigeria you should visit this Christmas at discounted prices. So stay tuned. Hi outliers! Welcome back to my channel. I am Defisayo. So if this is your first time on my channel, you're most welcome. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like this video if you do enjoy it, and you know, all that stuff. Yes, so this video, I'm going to be telling you guys places to visit in Nigeria this Christmas. But before we go into that, let's just take a minute to talk about how I just achieved the milestone. I hit 200 subscribers. Like, I, I'm actually very excited. You know, just two months ago, I had 35 subscribers. And then when I decided to get my YouTube series, 200 in just two months. But although, although, my goal is to get 500 for the year round down. So I'm begging you know, you guys should please keep supporting me. Help me tell your friends and your friends and family to subscribe to my channel for great content on travels and lifestyle, basically. Without further ado, I'm going to go straight to the video. So this video, like I said, is about this to visit in Lagos, okay, Nigeria, but Lagos specifically. I will show you hotels, restaurants, places, basically. The first on my list is Renaissance Hotel, which is where I am right now. So Renaissance, I'm going to show you guys a clip of the hotel. I'm going to show you guys the pool, their rooms, their the environment and every other thing but the first thing you guys should notice is that the their price normally for the standard room goes for 85,000 86,000 sorry but this time it's going for 68,000 so they just turn the figures around so if you're thinking of spending a Christmas in Lagos I think Renaissance is a good place for you guess why Renaissance is located in Isaac John Street which is like a street that has the best restaurants in the area so we I don't know I don't need to go into the restaurants we have here but, but the point here is that if you lodge here if you're thinking of going to buy anything 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 you can also see, take a stroll to any of the restaurants around and buy, or not, not just just restaurants, there are malls and others around the place. So another thing is, when I first came here, I was I was actually wowed by the environment, the lights, the the scenery. I'm walking on the floor and I look at the, the floor and it looks like I'm actually walking on waters in Seychelles. You know, it's really blue, it's glass and all that. It's really beautiful. So I think you guys should check it out. And also the other day I came. I saw that there was, there was a karaoke session going on. I don't know if that is what is on the break. But I'm sure it's a beautiful place that you should, you should actually come and check it out. And I will show you a video of how the group is. I don't want a lot for Christmas. There is just one thing I need. I don't care about the presents underneath the Christmas tree. I just want you for my own More than you could ever know Make my wish come true All I want for Christmas Is you Tell you guys that this is not a sponsored post. I'm actually doing this post so that you guys can be informed and know what to do, make good Christmas decisions for the holidays. So, like this room in particular, actually gives you breakfast for two. Major key. Actually, most like, most hotels give breakfast for two. But if you say the hotel does not give breakfast for two, then what's the point of going to the hotel? I beg, I beg. So just come here, and enjoy the scenery, enjoy the environment. It's beautiful. It's awesome. So the next on my list is Freedom Park. I went to Freedom Park for the first time last last two weeks. It was during the Nigeria Travel Week, which I showed you guys it was awesome and beautiful. When I said I was going to do it, so Freedom Park, of which I will still produce, I will, I will still put it out for you guys so you guys can see how it is detailed review of the of the place. But on for, upon entrance, I paid 500 naira as gate fee. So you guys should know that you should actually carry money along with you. So if you want to enjoy or if you want to have an adventure this Christmas. I recommend Freedom Park because it's there's a mixture of art and lifestyle, jazz. Because even in the night when I was leaving the place, I noticed that they were playing music that reminds of it was more like a fella kind of music. It had this vibe. It was beautiful. Art, culture, everywhere is just beautiful. I'm not about happy in the place. I really, I really enjoy the place. It was beautiful. So you guys should check out Freedom Park. And yeah. And the next is Federal Palace Hotel. I went there recently with my brothers. We just said let us check it out. It was beautiful. And guess what? They have a casino. Like we have a casino in Nigeria, I do not know. <laughs> it was beautiful, guys. It was actually, it actually felt like I was in Vegas, even though I've never been to Vegas before. It was really beautiful. So, like their room, 
that has a discount is their standard drum and it goes for 58,000 Naira and it's on the island, it's located in Victoria Island. So if you're looking at spending your Christmas on the island, that's a great hotel for you to spend your Christmas. So the highlights of the place is the pool. Hey, the pool is mad. Like, I really like the pool, it's beautiful, it has all these slides and all that. The pool, the casino, of course, you know when you're going to casino, you spend your money, so you have to go wise. Another thing is the room. Yeah, the room is the room is okay. The environment is nice. They had all these flowers and everything. It was beautiful. So yeah, put up Palace Hotel. Check it out. Check out the site. I will leave the link for everything down below in the description box. So you guys do not dull it. But the next I have to show you guys is Eleki Conservation Center. I've been there before. I went there last year. In fact, I did a video of the place under the five places to visit in Lagos um, video post. And I will show you guys a clip of the video. But right now, all I have to say is that the place is a good place to hang out with your friends and family. You can go there and play different ten ten. I don't know any any kind of game you want to do. It's just a good hangout spot. In fact, I was even told that. Because we don't actually appreciate what we are. Very like that, I was talking with a lot of travel minds and the rest, and they spoke to me about how this this, this, this Chinese couple they go there every weekend to actually I don't know to just have fun. They actually appreciate that nature more than we do. I think you don't appreciate it as much as this is why people come here and enjoy. It. So you guys should actually make use of the environment if you live close to Lucky Conservation Center, which is around Chevron roundabout, which is like seventh or fourth roundabout in Lucky. You guys should totally check it out. It's beautiful. It has said it has alligators. I don't want to see alligators before. Of which when I put up the post on my blog, someone replied me saying that they, they are actually alligators. The person sent me pictures of the place of the alligators, so to say, because he said he continued the search. Blah blah blah. So the point is that the place is beautiful. It has thirty thirties. <laughs> no nature. Just go down and enjoy nature. And I would confirm the gate fee and put it in the description box for you guys. So the next is the cool hotel and suites. Like this place, I didn't even need to hype it. Everybody already knows about the Eco Hotel. Eco Hotel is actually not new. I like the architecture of the building, but what I'm more interested in is their Christmas package. They have something called Nick Max, which is separate, and they have something, a normal Christmas package. The Nick Max is in collaboration with Nickelodeon. When we went there, what they told us was that you will pay a certain amount of money and call and then get breakfast for your family, not even breakfast for two, for your family. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner for two days. That's 25th and 26th of, of um, December. So if you're looking to eat and eat and eat, <laughs> that's the place to be. Apart from the food, they're also going to give um, movie tickets, of which the movie will actually take place in the hotel. You no, know, I don't know if you guys know, a hotel has like five suites. They have their signature suite, general suite, and the rest. The Christmas package actually covers all the suites. So you just have to go there, find out more about which one you want. The signature suite is usually the most expensive suite. The point here I'm trying to make is that they have like, they actually have great Christmas package for the Nick Max. The Nick Max is actually what is exciting my brother the most. He's always talking about it. So I don't know what our plan is for Christmas, but with all this I've said, I'm sure we eventually choose something from all the experiments we've been going around for. Yeah, because for the last two or three Christmas, We've actually been spending our Christmas here in different hotels in Nigeria, I'm trying to explore, have fun, and you know, the normal thing. So the next one is Radisson Blue, which also we spent our Christmas last year. I will show you guys a clip of the place. The hotel is beautiful. I like the the pool because it has the lagoon view, which is beautiful. It's great for pictures, it's great for you know just nice scenery and the rest. So if you like water, that's the place for you because it's right next to the lagoon so yeah i'll also make sure to give you more information about their prizes yeah Southern Sun. Till during the Nigeria Travel Week, 
I said, okay, which hotel is close by? Let me go and actually do some research and know more about whatever they have to offer. So I saw Sound and Sun, I was recommended Sound and Sun, and I went in, made up some inquiries. I said it was a beautiful place, and I, what do I know about the hotel? It's in Ikoi. So if you, if you see around Ikoi, if you're thinking of staying in Ikoi with your friends and family, Sound and Sun is a good place to be. And if you want a spa, whatever, spa service, you have to look for it ahead so that you can get a private spa session or something like that. So I'll show you guys the room the gym, the pool, and scenery of the hotel, basically. So, okay, I've been going around with hotels, hotels. The next is beach. So there are different beaches, and that they go to use. <laughs> there are different beaches to go to in Lagos. <laughs> there are so many beautiful beach we have in Lagos. Uh, we have Lekki, Legion Lake, we have Lekki Beach, we have Legoji Beach, we have the rest and the rest and the rest. I've been to the ones I mentioned, but the one I've had the most fun at was Lekki Legion Lake. It was beautiful. Yes, regular water. But what, what uh, magnified my experience there was the bungee job. I did a bungee job. It was, it was magnificent. I, did, I was scared, but at the same time, it was fun. Bondi job, we did a zip line, which most of which are my first experiences. The zip line is just fun, it's just fun. So you guys, if you're looking out to have fun, they also have this car riding day on the beach, and they have horses here, the regular horses. So if you're looking out to have fun in the beach, so Lake Leisure Lake is the beach for you. Last I checked, it was 1K for entrance. I don't know if they changed their price. But yeah, yeah, that's it. So have fun, chill out with your friends and family. The next one is a skin care and wellness spa in Ikeja Jiri, named Grey and Glow. I'll be showing you guys their price list and a session of their aromatherapy. I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them blue for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Hi guys, so that is all. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you guys at least got to know one or two things that you've known about Lagos and about some beautiful hotels and beach and the rest in Nigeria. So let's get stuck in the comment box. Let me know what you guys would want to do this Christmas. Let me know what to tell you want to visit. Let me know the, the highlight of this video that you enjoyed the most basically. Also, if you want to know more about any of these hotels, I can I'll most definitely want to be of help to you. So leave your questions, your comments, everything in the comment box below. Let's talk about it. And let me know what you guys want to do for Christmas. So I'll keep serving you guys with more Christmas information and videos till the end of Christmas. I don't know, different things, different ideas are going to come up. And I hope you guys continue to support me. Don't forget our goal is to get 500 subscribers before the end of this year. And that will be cool. Happy my life. But I'm actually serious, I actually want to get 500 subscribers. As my goal, it wasn't what I wanted before, it was what I want now. I believe we can do this. So let's do this. And do not forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, at Dipisayo. And visit my blog also at www.dipisayo.com. So thank you guys again for watching this video. Merry Christmas in advance. Love you guys.